got some cool project I'm working on. Oh, by the way, this is my other prickly pear cactus, although also known as a nopal. Very delicious for me and the iguanas. I mean the turtles. So I have an idea now. Uh, I got inspired by some YouTube videos, and I think I'm gonna make this thing a little bit bigger and a lot more secure too, because. I hate those clips so i just bought the wood for now uh, i kind of just burned it with a torch uh kind of cures it a little bit and i'm kind of eyeballing this thing i'm not a carpenter or anything but i'm kind of eyeballing this thing so it's very simple design um i got some more wood so i'm kind of debating whether to put how tall i want to put it so let me show you i'll speed up this up uh, with my video editor or something and uh, yeah that's how much extension I want it so it's gonna be from there it's gonna be the probably the same height um, more or less around the same height maybe I'll put it a little bit taller because they like to climb their arboreal ar eh, arboreal whatever the arboreal lizards that's all I'm gonna say but yeah, so right now I'm kind of just putting it together. Got a fucking shitty ass tables put together. I got some new drill. That's I'm pretty happy I bought these things. Bought a drill and uh, and thing. I actually bought a battery pack for Ro from Roby, and I got a, the saws off free. And I was gonna buy a drill anyways, but so this is what I'm doing. And basically, uh, I cut these at like around three feet. I think this is like around three feet. Uh, actually, I have my measuring tape right here this little measuring tape I got for my birthday a long time ago so two feet oh, that's kind of lame it's not really what I wanted but it's around the same length as the door over there so that kind of works out so it's around two and a half two feet and a half an inch so yeah so uh, I just cut that these are eight foot long boards uh, now they are, let's see what they are, they are almost five foot, almost six feet, almost, damn it, that's cool, I wanted to get them a five foot, so that gives me an extra, almost a foot, another nine, another nine or ten inches, I don't remember how much it was, but yeah, so basically I just got some screws, got a drill, and I'm putting it together like so, it's not really hard, you don't have to be professional at this, but um, I do recommend getting tools for it, like saw and a drill, because it helps a lot. Uh, I actually did that one with a screwdriver and it fucking took me all day. So yeah, I'm gonna set you down somewhere. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, probably gonna see my face for the first time. But that's not too exciting. So, let me get started. Started to me. A little worried about that cracked area right there. See, I split the wood. Oh, you can see it. Split it. Be better for the top. So, my design. It's not gonna be so visual like this one. I uh, was looking at the screen, this shit's fucking expensive. It's crazy how expensive this is. Excuse my language, I'm sorry. Um, so the screen's pretty expensive. Bought it before and uh, didn't think it was that expensive. So uh, what I'm gonna do, it comes out cheaper. I'm gonna put wood planks like for the fencing. 
I'm just gonna put them to cover. Uh, I think it'll be a lot easier as well. So this is the bottom. Now I gotta work on the top. This is gonna take me a little bit longer. Uh, but let's see if you uh, see if you can do it too. Let's see. Bring it over here. doing so with this piece of wood actually I'll leave that here have another one on. so with this one being the base I'm not sure how how tall I want it these are eight feet and they're crooked as hell so I don't know if I should maybe on the outside which will be kind of wobbly I think I think it would be more sturdy if I put a screw on each side Make it a lot more sturdy. I'm not sure how tall I want it. Maybe like to my height. Now that I have a measuring tape, I could do it. Kind of wing the other one. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe like right here, maybe. So it's not too tall. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of figuring this out right now. Um, I guess. I guess right there would be fine. Like right here, my height. I guess right here. So, let me cure these, and then I'll get back to you in another video, or in the same, I'll make it, I'll match them together. Um, but yeah, let me think about this. Oh, actually got one more piece. Um, I think these are all done. So I can show you how to do it on this one. It's pretty cool, I think that one's good. Yeah. So I just need this one, so. I do. I kind of burn the wood basically. So, I heard this is a good way to treat the wood without actually putting like uh, chemicals on it and stuff. But uh, this is a word of mouth. It also gives it a really cool tiki look with a really tropical, tropical look to it. Especially with the green behind it and stuff. So basically this is all I'm doing. And then she's burning the surface of the wood. And I can see how it kind of like the dry spots kind of close them up. I'm going to cut these right now. Thank you. 
There's that. It's crooked as fuck. But once I get the top pieces in, I think it'll adjust all right. I hope. <laughs> it's pretty crooked. No, I think the wood itself is just crooked, but I mean, oh yeah, real crooked. I think it's just the floor, the way it's positioned. No, that piece of wood is definitely crooked. I burnt the shit out of myself. Feel focus. See the screw. See where it does the screw. Perfectly imprinted and burned in my hand. Alright. Oh, I actually got one more piece. Um, I think these are all done. So I can show you how to do it on this one. It's pretty cool. I think that one's good. Yeah. So I just need this one. So. Let's see what I do. I kind of burned the wood this day. So. I heard this is a good way to treat the wood without actually putting like uh, chemicals on it and stuff. But uh, this is a word of mouth. It also gives it a really cool tiki look with a good tropical, tropical look to it. Especially with the green behind it and stuff. Basically, this is all I'm doing. And then she's burning the surface of the wood. And I, I can see how it kind of like the dry spots kind of close them up. I'm going to cut these right now.
There's that. It's crooked as fuck. But once I get the top pieces in, I think it will adjust all right. I hope. <laughs> it's pretty crooked. No. I think the wood itself is just crooked, but I mean, oh yeah, real crooked. I think it's just the floor, the way it's positioned. No, nope, that piece of wood is definitely crooked. I burnt the shit out of myself. Field focus. See the screw. See where it touched the screw. Perfectly imprinted and burned in my hand. All right today um i don't know how i'm gonna connect these two but um basically that's pretty much it very nice close right here so figuring out how to connect the two now that's probably what's gonna happen next so you can see all right, so I got the bottom on. I know I was supposed to make a video of it, but I got the bottom on uh, and the poles up. So let me just show you actually. Let me show you before I take it down. Um, so basically all it is was putting these together. I think you saw it in the previous uh, film that, you know, just two screws there on each side I actually did got one plank and screw that one on and then I flipped it over and then I put the other one same way two screws and then I got the other plank I flipped it around put it against this this one right here put two screws and then flipped it over put two screws and that's what gave me my my square over there my rectangle and then uh, after that I get these these uh, I think they're six feet tall I get these and I put them, um, you know, like so. I put two screws here, but then I also reinforce it with two screws right here. Um, so you can see, it's kind of makes it more sturdy. It's got it from both sides. That, I can't move that at all. So it actually supports this as well. And then it also supports uh, this thing right here. So it's very good construction, uh, even though I'm not like a carpenter or anything, but I do get down, I would have to say, and that's like the finished product. The only thing I have to do now is burn it, but I think I'll do that after I put the mesh up. Uh, as you can see, square, and now to put these two together, let me show you that process. Very easy, simple. Um, put this guys, like that. All right, so, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll just leave it at uh, zoomed out. So.
All right, everybody. Um, I wish I did the video on it, but it was a lot of back and forth to the store. Um, so yeah, I kind of messed up here though. I guess you could tell where it's not even because uh, you have these little, Chimo, get away. So these are two pieces. I got to figure out how to put these two together because that's a gap. But uh, you see it goes up and then it starts to split and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually if you want to see that he'll push right through there and uh yeah i kind of put this meanwhile i think that would work a piece of wire or something but i'll figure something out <laughs> maybe even zip ties but uh yeah so this is the imperfection i have and then i just cut it i'm pretty late I, i'm not gonna cut it right now so I, i'm gonna give definitely put more staples in there because you know there's a lot of loose parts the iguanas can figure out that they're loose and mess with them so with the bottom instead of putting mesh like this i'm taking a risk and put uh like the garden mesh it's like real plasticky uh, i'm gonna put topsoil over this so hopefully uh they won't dig a lot but i'm gonna put enough topsoil some rocks in the corners and uh maybe like even a hide box with more dirt but definitely something to cover this that way they don't dig through it and uh i know they can rip this up so i'm taking a big risk on this but uh like i said i'm gonna cover it put some rocks in the corner so they don't dig in the corners and uh hopefully they don't get out and this is what the back looks like right there i put the boards i need, actually need to still drill these in but uh, i put a roof and i kind of just put it half ass i need to put some a uh, piece of metal here so, i mean a, a screw that way it can hold it down but other than that, it's pretty sealed. They got a nice roof to work with. And that's gonna be covered in mesh as well. Uh, I have another roll, luckily. And I'm gonna somehow make a door. I gotta make a door somehow to figure that out. But uh, other than that, I mean, this is pretty much it. Got the sides done. You gotta figure out the door. What I'm gonna use for, hey, stop kicking dust. Hey, stop kicking dust. What's the matter with you? You a cow? So, uh, yeah. That's how it looks. And this side came out a little bit better. Like I said, I'm going to zip tie it probably with small zip ties. That'd be probably like the best bet. Um, you know, something cheap and easy. Uh, I got the 2 by 25 and that covered these two sides. And these, these are like 2 feet. So it was a little bit over. Or less than 2 feet. No, these were 2 feet, so... I guess it was a little bit over two feet um, of that. So, uh, well, yeah, this, obviously this would be, so that bottom piece is two feet and the wire's two feet, but from this edge to this edge, it is not two feet, obviously, because there's some gap in between it. And yeah, so the back, I kind of have it, I got to figure out what to do with this too, because these nails, I mean, these screws only had, big screws so they would come out and I didn't want the guanas scratching themselves on it cutting themselves so I kind of left them out a bit but I figured it'd be cool so I can put uh like vines or something something like something like that and maybe I'll paint this you know something cool I'll burn it as well um so it's a small gap I don't think they could the small iguanas could fit through there but uh yeah so far it looks pretty good as you guys can see and this only took me about two days uh in reality like four half days because i don't really put the whole day effort into this but it's pretty sturdy very heavy i gotta tell you that and uh yeah so basically to put on the mesh i just put the staples as you can see and then i hammered those staples in to keep it more secure i gotta hammer this one actually i actually have a hammer right here so that one's a little bit in i gotta there you go now it's in i ain't going anywhere so yeah i gotta staple the bottom still it's still pretty pretty loose actually i think I, well, I just only put one staple so yeah i gotta staple the bottom still but uh, other than that that's pretty much it i like the way it's coming out um i just gotta drill that as well the shelf on there so it's sturdier and yeah so this is it it's gonna be pretty cool i want a vine to grow 
all over here or maybe even on the top that'd be really cool so the door i think i'm just gonna do the door kind of small have a small door just enough where i could fit and get in there maybe i'll take it off that thing that's a good idea i should take it off that thing yeah i'm gonna do that then <laughs> i'm gonna take off that thing yeah other than that it's pretty much it gotta get more wood some decorating and i'll make a video on that but other than that here she is so you guys get some ideas very easy to make like i said eight feet those are six feet but i got eight foot planks i cut them at six feet i got two feet to play with so i put it on the side so eight foot cut it that's one end eight foot cut it that's another end boom you have a square and then same with the top eight foot one end cut it you have one right here then eight foot cut it at uh, two feet and it's right there and then whatever you have from these or i'm sorry these right here um you can make a shelf out of it like i am or do something with it yeah i like the way the wood burn looks it looks really nice so i just gotta burn out the whole thing oh damn it i put the plastic on there son of a gun well i guess i could burn that too fuck it excuse my language yeah that's pretty much it So the top right here is a. Uh, oh, I gotta make sure that stays. I gotta drill that another one in there or something because that's not good. But um, see how the wood splits? I hate that. So I got a piece. I think it was eight feet by four feet. I cut it in half. There's the other half. Zero reptile number eight. Finally finished it. It's a little lopsided. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit higher on this side. It's like kind of slanted that way but I'm um, uh, finally finished it I uh, kind of get a rig the door uh, I didn't really think about putting the door up that much and I kind of messed it up but it works fine um, basically I had leftover wood what I used for the shelf over there I kind of just put them together drilled them together and uh, created a nice little beam that's pretty pretty sturdy I mean it's not too bad uh, the, this took the most time and it was the most expensive uh, but yeah this is not like really the finished product I have like little things here I saw on YouTube that kind of helps but so let me get this uh, open real quick and yes I have my locks because my grandma seems to like letting them out uh, I'm just gonna give you a little thing it's not totally finished finished because I still got to decorate the inside and uh, and like add plants and topsoil. Got to cover the netting because they're gonna tear through it. But uh, the little lizard seems to like it so far. Um, it's very big, very big for them. Sidon seems to like it. He's crawling up and down, and I think he's figured out what's the door. And uh, uh, Lizzie's kind of still trying to figure out where the weak points are and I'm gonna let her because she will tell me where the weak points are and if she pushes up like that as you can see if you don't have it stapled good enough they'll find a weak spot and get through it but it seems like I have beat the lizard so yeah so you can see how they uh, hang on there and like push against it so if I had to put the plastic netting Go to tour right through it. And uh, that's just a little door stopper to keep it nice and straight. So, yeah, they're going to find out the weak spots. So, I'm going to figure it out. Hopefully, they don't get out at all. Um, but uh, I don't think I have any weak spots. So, it's good luck for them. Good luck for me, actually. But So, yeah. Oh, they're knocked over this bowl. Have this bowl like that because the little lizard seems to walk by and lick it so he seems to like taking a drink out of there as you can see put the water bowl i'm gonna get a bigger bigger uh probably like a, a tub um put some water yeah he's he's hot right there 
Here, cool off. There you go. So yeah. But they can get in the shade if they want to. This provides shade in the shade as well. So not really too worried about them overheating or anything. Uh, it is hot right now. It's the hottest part of the day. So I just gotta keep an eye, make sure they're regulate the temperature as they're supposed to. But uh yeah, that's pretty much it. So one, two, and three. It's a little flimsy, so I put one there up top. But uh, the door, pretty much, I, you just whatever was left over for the roof. So you can see, I put the roof up there. This is just an extra piece. I don't know what to do with it yet. Probably just put it right here so they get some extra shade or something. That's right there. Get some extra shade. Put it in. Let's stand it up. So as you can see, she's just trying to tear through there. That's not letting her. And it's, it doesn't get hot, actually. I was, I was thinking it was gonna get hot, but it doesn't get hot, which is good. And they're both hanging. And you can see their nails are really, really sharp. I haven't trimmed them down in a while. They always cut me up. Looks pretty bad. So, hey, what's wrong with your finger there, buddy? Got some dirt on it. So yeah, as you can see, they'll hang on it. Kind of made this pretty good i was kind of worried about this little area that the little lizard might fit through there but it's actually too small for him to fit through there i just put these just in case but this is the back side pretty much and i like that burnt texture i put on there it looks gives it a good nice decent vibe i could just picture a vine growing in the back maybe even some some grass or some type of moss or something on the floor real green to offset the wood um, i want to get bigger logs and branches right now this will do just get them up to the shelves and stuff and stay out of the heat but uh yeah i mean no, i think it's better like that so for now it's pretty good i don't really i just kind of put the logs in there it's not really what i want i kind of want something to hang right here like real nice thick log maybe hang it with some rope or something oh they can sit there and bask and uh kind of have a big log at the bottom so one of them could bask at the bottom uh not so clustered because this looks really like messy so but i just put it in there so they keep themselves occupied but yeah i definitely see a lot more layers i want to be able to use all that space you know look they're pretty pretty hot right now so I think I'll hose them down with the water hose. So they do that to regulate the temperature. And I guess they're pretty hot because both of them are doing it. So you can see your mouth. Uh, maybe you can see your teeth. Where's your teeth, buddy? Uh, you can't really see them. I don't know. Oh, I see some teeth. They're real tiny. You can see them on the left side, right there. Very tiny, very sharp. They'll slice through you for sure. How oh, about Look at her. She's getting so fat. I like your little stripes there. I've never seen those before. Nice. She's getting plenty of UV. I like her orange. Hopefully that comes out more. Her, her feet seem to get orange, and that's why I thought it was a male at first because she was getting orange. So I was like, usually the male, green iguana males that get orange and stuff, but I guess her coloration is very nice. See, got some orange right there. Very nice. I never really noticed how much orange she has. Very cool. There you go. Just gonna use that log perfectly. Nice. That was a cool shot right there. So they're gonna go in the shade because it's too damn hot out here. Awesome, this is perfect. So now they have shade from the door and shade from the roof. And that is awesome. So that's pretty much it though. It's a Reptile 98. And of course he's got a, I think he knows he's enclosed. And usually when they're in, he's in his other cage, he, uh, Sidon tends to 
not be so um, not be so uh, aggressive and dominant. So yeah, so you can see that. Definitely see a pond or something. I want like a little waterfall, like just a miniature waterfall would be really cool. And that would like antag uh not antagonize them. They would uh it would like make them more aware of water source because water just sitting like that the only way they're gonna find it is if they stumble over it but uh if they have that trickle and they see water and they hear it they're gonna definitely definitely get the drink and that little guy he's just chilling up there this this cage is humongous for him i bet i wish i had done this a long time ago uh a lot i got that paw hut bird parrot cage for like 300 bucks and basically I got this, well, including my drill and my, my saw saw, my circular saw, excuse me. Uh, it was basically, basically around the same price. So imagine like this plus tools that you could build more stuff for 300 bucks or just 300 bucks. You know what I mean? Like definitely worth it. Um, go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's. Here's some inspiration for you. I built it in practically two days or four half days. So this is definitely doable. Uh, on a budget and it's super easy super super easy and uh hopefully uh i'll probably upload the videos in parts because i can't really mash them together and if i can i'll i'll try to make this one video where uh i kind of speed through oh i don't like that i don't like that one bit Here. Well, I don't think they'll be able to get through there, but I don't like how it's warping. I gotta add a screw here. Because if it warps high enough, they're gonna see an opening and they gonna take off. Maybe I'll add it right now. But simple roof oh yeah i gotta do this too i forgot about that before my little one takes off on me so let me go ahead and do that but i'll leave you with this i like the side view better it looks a lot cooler because the front the door kind of messes it up i really wanted just pure i should have made the door in the side and this just all screen that would have been really nice as you can see you got some zip ties the the thing wasn't long enough it just reached up to here here's one point and the other one reached in there so i just put some zip ties to close it up and they should be fine yeah that's pretty much it very easy well not really but well yeah it is very easy i could do it you can do it say bye no oh, i'm sorry oh i'm sorry i'm sorry why are you so angry what well you, you dominant you dominant out of your new cage? He's being a little butthole. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace.